But put on this next clip, this is what you were referring to, Dr. Paul. And again, this is antiwar.com day because we got it from anti-war. Uh, they do great uh, work when there's a crisis like this. But this is about a secret CIA training program. As you say, Dr. Paul, eight years. So essentially from the, the day that coup was over, the CIA went in. And it says that secret CIA program in eastern Ukraine was much more provocative than the other training programs since it essentially meant the U.S. was involved in a proxy war on Russia's border. And now, everyone says uh, that this was totally unprovoked, the Russian attack on Ukraine. And this is not to justify war. But you want to say totally unprovoked, totally unprovoked. Well, here now we're seeing that for eight years the CIA was training Ukrainians how to kill Russians in eastern Ukraine. It went on and on, talked about NATO membership. Again, it's not to justify it, but you can't simply say that it was completely unprovoked. We kept poking and poking and poking, and then all of a sudden they poked back. Yes, maybe they poked back in a massive way that nobody approves of. However, you have to look at why are we training? Why do we have the CIA in there training them how to kill Russians? How does it make any sense? How does it help us in any way? You know, if we had done it properly, we would have made the people respond by telling their congressmen whether they should vote for war or not. And uh, they, they never do it anymore. And uh, they're, therefore, uh, this uh, no win, no loss, no but it's, it's, it's do whatever they want. And that is, was the evil with that one resolution giving Bush the authority. It didn't tell them. It just said, well, in, in essence, it said, do what you have to do, yeah. but you don't have to bother us, uh, you know, to, to declare war.